Hey guys, it's Intel365 bringing you a tutorial in my tutorial series in Sony Vegas After Effects and Cinema 4D. This will run alongside Dark Souls. What I'm going to be showing you today is kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. Didn't know how to demonstrate it, so this is how I'm doing it. So let's jump into Vegas. Hey guys, we're in Sony Vegas now, let's get started. Uh, this is the voice I'm going to use. It's best, but it's not as you saw in the last one. I was talking quite quickly and I managed to sync everything up at fine. Um, but things like this, kinetic typography is the best. Will be hellishly a lot easier to work with than what I did for the introduction to this video. Um, so let's get started. You want to go to media generators, solid color. Uh, just choose any, it doesn't matter, you can always mess around with the with the colour of it. Okay, so let's choose... Oh god, no. Uh, yeah, let's choose a nice blue. Maybe... It works quite well with sort of pastel-y colours, sort of dark colours, it might look a bit tacky. Uh, but again, you know, use this in whatever way you want to. So, let's go for that sort of blue. So you just want to drag it to the end of here. Okay, so you've got the kinetic, just a blue screen, nothing else. Um, now what you want to do is go to text, titles and text. It's good in uh, Sony Vegas 12, they've given you... Uh, sort of pre-made uh, pre-made uh, text effects so like with this one you might saw in my last video is the best so like that sort of good is I mean you, the for best. this effect you could use those but uh, for now we're just going to use our own uh, so just drag in your sample text and you're going to want to make as many words in the last video you saw different sections so this here that you're seeing now this part is one section um, so listen listen to it see how many words there are what the words are and then plan how many ever video uh, add as many video uh, tracks as you need so kinetic typography is the best right okay so let's start with the first one. So you can also press uh, Control Shift Q to add in video, and you can add in as many as you want. Uh, but we're not going to use that uh, that many. So choose what text you want. I'm just going to go with Impact again. Uh, there you go. Uh, the first word I think, oh my dear lord, uh, the first word I think was uh, kinetic. So put kinetic there. Now you want to move it uh, sort of anywhere you want. Uh, if you have lower versions of Sony Vegas, um, you'll have to go into event pan crop um, and move it that way. But Sony Vegas Pro 12 lets you sort of do it and resize it all here um, so I'm going to put that nice and big there like that so now when it, as soon as it comes on match it up with here kinetic so it wants to be there so just slide that there kinetic type now the best transition I find with these is linear wipe um, either way whichever one you want to use but I do find that these give the best effect when you first put it on it might I might put it on like that huge kinetic type and it comes in a bit kinetic type a bit too slow um, kinetic again maybe a bit too slow kinetic type that's better kinetic t now you want to leave that like that so it's right at the end of the clip. It stays there the whole clip uh, for this section. Kinetic type. Right, okay. Uh, now all you literally need to do is just copy, paste, find out where the next word is. 
So you can see if you look at your markers, that's basically each word. And that's why I'm saying if you talk slower, it's easier to do than when you're talking fast. So kinetic, and then the next word, typography, typography. So it's from there to there, so you know that. So slide that in. Bring that to the end. Okay. So all you literally do now is type typography. Put it uh, wherever you want. A good effect is clumping them all up. Um, it works quite well. So if you clump one up there, 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 and have the rest on the side, but we'll go with something different. We'll put it there. So now you've got kinetic typography. It looks a bit slow, but it's because I'm talking slow. Um, maybe a bit faster, it might have more of an effect, but still works the same way. Is the best. So the next bit is, is the best. So you just paste it again. Is there you go. And literally just type in is. Why isn't that showing up? Uh Okay, I don't know why that wasn't showing up. Oh, because uh, it's uh the linear wipe hasn't fully brought it in yet. Um is B is so, uh, you'll find maybe sometimes while you're editing things just fit in and you look at it and think, because it, it sort of looks, it's meant to look a bit crazy and a bit all over the place, um, or it can give the effect of being like quite, you know, sort of close together and stuff like that. Um, but you might find like it just fits and it looks okay. Kinetic typography is the best. And then the last bit the best. See so now the best is quite quick um, but you still want to separate the words so you don't want is the uh, the best all on the same one because it just won't look that, that good. Whoa. Okay move on now to there. Um, so this is going to be maybe have that there the best the best right and our best because it's quite close up I have it closer there Yeah, because I've sort of put more emphasis on the, so that might look okay. The best. The best. So if we watch it all now, kinetic typography is the best. Right. Now you might have saw in the introduction, I mean, you can play around with this as much as you want. I'm not going to go through everything because, yeah, you know, it's just, there's so many things you can do. I mean, if you saw my intro, that's only like a smidgens on what you can do in Vegas for this sort of uh, effect for kinetic typography. Um, but this is another thing that you might like to do. Uh, so if you stretch out that to about there. Uh, go to media generators again, go to solid colour. Uh, I think I'm going to go for black. I think I'll do. Um, okay. Now you want to go to event pan crop and you want to go to mask. Now in Sony Vegas Pro 12, they give you masking options like that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. They give you 
uh, so you can mask out um, shapes so you don't you know you don't have to use the pen tool so that makes it a hell of a lot easier um, but you can make anything uh, like you saw the lines going across uh, on the intro I mean you can make thin ones where the words will run across that bit was quite quick but you can make it nice and slow if you're doing lyrics to something um, you can animate another one coming in like that uh, there's just literally loads you can do um, you know for this for this effect so if we put them at the start uh, make sure as well that okay alright um, so okay Alright, yeah, I found this happened every now and then. Uh, There's like a bit of a black spot. Oh no. Oh yeah, there. You don't really want that, you want it to flow. Um, so just literally. Yeah. So, say if you want that black line going across, go to Vamp and Crop. Uh, make sure this is locked on. Uh, sync cursor, this syncs this cursor with that one so if you're at the start of this one you're at the start of that clip, if you're at the end you're at the end um, so make sure everything's that so if we want it to start we want it to start off the screen so go click on position um, make sure that's selected so it can only move in X only so that's side to side like that. Make sure it's fully off the screen. Like that. And then you're being a bit uh I don't know, sort of devious I suppose. Um <coughs> you're sort of making people think that it's moving when it's when it's not. Um so as it comes in there it starts moving. Now for this whole duration it's not moving. But the text is sliding across it, so that obviously gives the impression that it is moving. Um, so you'll have kinetic typography is the best. So when that line, obviously you can change the speed of it to however you want. Mine was a bit quick on the last on the introduction, but totally up to you. Um, and then if you want text scrolling across it, it is literally just the same as that. Um, bring in your text titles and text. Uh yeah, let's put that on actually. Um so don't make it the full way across this time because obviously it's going to be sliding off uh depending on the speed you want it. If you want it there, obviously it's going to take a hell of a lot longer to go off. Um so we're going to have it there. So when that comes on, that'll pop up. Um so we're going to change it to oh god hello right uh, and this is going to be on this black line there so that pops up like that um, let's just move it so it pops on like that. Maybe change the colour to black. That's an effect I sort of like to use. So it looks like it's uh, sort of in in the actual uh, inside the bar. It's like popping up from that. You can have it still if you want it moving. Same as the black bar. Zoom out. So at the start of it, you want it to pop in. You want it to start off the screen and then through the whole selection as uh, through the whole through the whole process you want it to go off so oh great nice that was a really good effect uh, if we restore that
bring up. Oh my dear lord, I've never used this program it seems. Uh, restore that. Alright, okay. So you want it to start off the screen. And then for the duration of it, you want it to come off there and go across like that. So now, miss the effect. Miss the effect then. Okay, well you get the idea anyway. Um, so keep playing with that. Again with the shapes, um, you know, you can play around with them. If you want to make a circle to come in halfway through maybe um, along the mask, then just select circle. Uh, oh God. You can do more shapes as well. Um, if you get PNGs of shapes, uh, you can literally then, you are literally set to do anything you want. Okay. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you've got any questions, then let me Kinetic know. Kinetic typography is the best. Uh, if you want to see uh, any other tutorials that you're not sure on, let me know and I'll do them. Um, I'll leave an example at the end of the video. Um, of an introduction I did for someone um, so I hope you like that as well uh, using this sort of effect it was actually the first try I've ever done of it um, so I hope you enjoy guys alright, bye